Welcome, welcome to another installment of Breaking Boundaries Tuesday. I'm your boy Earl McCray with Real Relief Consulting. And today we're going to um, just share out um, another technique that is taught in the academy that helps you align uh, with your source and elevate your uh, your frequency, elevate your uh, vibration level. And, and the name of this, I, I call them games, the name of this mental game is uh, called uh, Wouldn't It Be Nice? Point of Wouldn't It Be Nice is to allow yourself to see the optimistic side of every situation and in focusing on that optimism, you are in embodying one of the principles of abundance major principle of, of abundant people when we think about what they say how they act how they walk how they talk they always ex, 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 uh, uh, exude optimism optimism so let's talk about you know wouldn't it be nice so wouldn't it be nice if all this week I'm home on vacation that um, Yvonne and I got to a couple of matinees. Wouldn't it be nice if maybe we could go out of town on a day trip? Wouldn't it be nice if there was somehow for me to get off of work so I could take Yvonne out um, out of town on her on her birthday next week? Wouldn't it be nice? If there was some way for Yvonne and I to travel to Houston together to pay homage to um, his mother, wouldn't it be nice if you know not only we had the same level of occupancy we had last month with the soccer team? Wouldn't it be nice if we had a higher level and we weren't giving any any discounts? Wouldn't it be nice if not only did we see um, an increase in the number of bookings, but I also saw an increase in the number of sales calls I have on my calendar. Wouldn't it be nice if the fun and the excitement that Patrick is enjoying uh, as he goes through these trainings in the military... Um, he also gets that same satisfaction out of, out of sharpening his financial IQ as he you know digs into some of these these books and these readings that I'm going to be you know asking him to invest his time in um, after he gets back from his training in July. Wouldn't it be nice if Lewis picked up another Airbnb? And he got one step of uh, being able to have financial independence and going back to school to become a doctor. Wouldn't it have been nice if um, I had more of a um, more of a structured approach to doing my social media? Wouldn't it be nice if Yvonne and I were working without working on improving our marriage by just meditating together and being more spiritual, reading the Bible together and being more spiritual, praying together and being more sp spiritual, manifesting together and being more spiritual. Wouldn't it be nice if the latter part of the school year, all of my more difficult students, I was able to get in alignment with myself and I allowed the things that would normally kind of rub me and uh, take me over the edge. Wouldn't it be nice if I don't do any of the, the whole patience thing that I lack. Uh, wouldn't it be nice if 
that patience which is elevated. So nothing got under my skin. You know, wouldn't wouldn't it be nice if kids, students at the last portion of the year started seeing me as not only the firm teacher, but also the fair teacher. Wouldn't it be nice if my self-limiting beliefs became non-existent? Wouldn't it be nice if my fear of the unknown, if my fear of dying, my fear of losing my loved ones, if those pain points no longer exist? Wouldn't it be nice if we went from a semi-profitable to an uh, 100% profitable um, business in the next 90 days? Wouldn't it be nice if my goals of getting to four jazz festivals over the summer um, was manifested? Wouldn't it be nice if my uh, my lack of organization within my two businesses could could be taken care of with just having better systems? And finally, wouldn't it be nice as I bring this Tuesday version of uh, Breaking Boundaries to a close, wouldn't it be nice if I could get into a consistent meditation and prayer routine before anybody gets any of my time during the day. Take care and God bless, good friends.